What do you think, Avery Bryn? Are we outside? Yeah. Hi, Porter. Where'd Greg Greg go? Oh, he's over there. Behind the table. We are just outside soaking up this nice weather. Hi, Avery. Hi. Avery's loving the nice weather. We're snacking on some chips. I love Cool Ranch Doritos. They're my favorite. My favorite. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite, Porter? Chips. You like chips? Yeah. Yeah. It was gloomy this morning and rainy, but it's still pretty um, cloudy, but it's so nice out. It, it, it's like 77 degrees. It's like summer. So we're out here just chilling. Anthony's inside making dinner. It's Sunday afternoon, almost evening. Um, we're all just hanging out um, before the start of a new week. I did Avery's baptism class today. Hello. So that I'm was good. I'm Grayson, and I'm pretending to be Fizz. What's the end? Oh, Flick. Hi, I'm Grayson, and I'm pretending to be Flick. Yeah. Grayson's been watching some YouTube video starring the Flick, the ant from A Bug Story, or A Bug's Life. That's what it is, A Bug's Life, if you remember that old 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 pixar movie i think it was anyway we're out here just hanging out we're gonna eat dinner we need to do bath but yes i did do avery's baptism class i actually took her with me um just because i was i didn't want to overwhelm anthony with both kids and avery so i took her with me and she just slept the whole time she was so good so i have one more class and then we have her baptism hi i'm grayson i'm and i'm pretending to be flick flick hey. I'm Grayson, and I'm pretending to be flipped. We have a busy week coming up. Tomorrow is Avery's cardiology appointment, so I'll probably make this a two-day vlog um, and let you guys know how that went. And then this is uh, gearing Hi. up to be Grayson's last week of preschool. He has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Thursday is his last day. So I got him a new outfit to wear for his graduation. Okay, sorry about that. Anthony came out. Um, I got Gray an outfit for graduation. I actually got Porter a matching outfit too. So they're gonna look so cute. They're probably wait for graduation and for Avery's baptism. But I can't believe this is Grayson's last week as a preschooler. Come Thursday afternoon, he's gonna be a kindergartner and Porter will be a preschooler. It just blows my mind how fast time is going. But Grayson's totally ready for it and um, He's loved preschool and then it starts like summer for us, which is just crazy. Up until a couple days ago, it's felt like winter. And so now it's finally feeling like spring, I guess, almost summer. And it's just, I think it's supposed to be warm weather from here on out. So we're just um, gonna gear up for a fun summer. We have a lot of things planned. And then I also wanna um, do a lot of fun stuff, go get ice cream and go to the splash pad and do story time at the library. And um, we're talking about maybe going to a local water park, which we've never done before. And um, hanging out with my sister, going to a lot of parks and just having a fun summer. So we're excited. Avery. Her, but... Bless you. That's a cardiology appointment. And we have to vlog. Well, we're stuck in his room anyway. Anthony's trying to swaddle her. Yeah, so she's a little more comfortable. Not gonna be very successful. Just got done with the echo, so we're waiting to meet with the doctor. <laughs> I'm just waiting to see how her heart looked. Couldn't really tell on the video, so. Boys are just playing in Anthony's car. They love to just sit in it and pretend to drive. <laughs> It looks like Gray found dad's sunglasses. Okay, 
So we are back from Avery's cardiology appointment. I took that little clip um, when we were in the waiting room. It was such a long appointment. I thought we would be home by like 11. We were not home until it was like a little afternoon. I think it was like 12.15. It took so long. We were there at 9.15. So it was almost like three hours. My mom came and watched the boys. She had to take Grayson to school and I was planning on picking him up, but our appointment took so long, she actually had to go pick him up from school too. So, so thankful to her that she was able to do that for us. And then she just hung out with Porter in the meantime. Avery's cardiology appointment went really well. We got there, they took like all her vitals. She's now over nine pounds. She's like nine pounds, one ounce. So she's a little over nine, so that's exciting. The same height, of course and uh, everything looks good with like her oxygen levels and stuff like that they had the tiniest little blood pressure cuff because she's tiny obviously she's like an infant so that was fun to like see them use a little tiny blood pressure cuff on her to get her blood pressure then we did the echo which is basically just an ultrasound of her heart to look at it so that took forever and they had to like tie her not tie her down they swaddled her so she tried not to move because it was like almost an hour of them just doing this echo of her heart and they had to take a million pictures to get all the different sides i thought maybe they were just gonna look at like the problem area but i asked the technician and she said no they take pictures of the whole heart of every bit to look at everything which i guess it's good like if we're already there they might as well like get everything in the, like they might as well get the whole picture to see if there's anything else that they missed so it was a little hard getting her to like stay still. She kept trying to fall asleep and then they like were pushing, you know, on her to get the different pictures and that kept waking her up and she was getting really frustrated with it. And then every time she was getting frustrated, they couldn't like get pictures of her heart and we were trying to use the pacifier, which she does not take a pacifier. We've been trying it. She doesn't really care for it. She just prefers the boob. I don't blame her. My other kids were the exact same way. But anyway, so that took like almost an hour, but they were finally able to get all the pictures of her. And then they also did an EKG on her, which they basically just put on a bunch of stickers all over her chest and arms um, to get a picture, I guess, of her heart or something like that. I'm not really exactly sure what that was. She did not like that. Did not like all the sensors on it. And then they had to take it off and it was like, you know, kind of ripping like a band-aid off of your skin, not the most pleasant feeling. So then she was crying because of that. And I was trying to nurse her in between like all these people coming in and it was just a hot mess, but we got through it. Finally went and saw her doctor. Her doctor is super nice. Um, even brought in a drawing of the heart and was like showing us where her problem area is which it's the same thing it's an underdeveloped pulmonary valve basically showing us that it's just like the leaflets the blood flow is still going in and out which is the most important thing but the leaflets aren't like as strong as they want them to be like they're kind of domed and so they're hoping over time they will just get stronger or more firm i guess she explained it really well to us even though i'm not explaining it very well to you guys and basically there's no concerns i mean of course there's concerns because they're looking at it but there's no like symptoms that we need to watch out for there's nothing we need to do differently with her they don't even want to see her back until a year from now so not till next april and they're thinking that by then her problem might be totally resolved they also noticed on her echo that there was a hole in her heart, but they said that all babies are born with holes in their heart because of like where the baby was like in like in mom's belly. Like all babies have this hole in the heart because it's like useful, like blood flow goes through it or something. But after you're born, you don't need that hole anymore. And so then over time, like it just closes up. So they will um, check that again in a year and see if that's closed up or not but overall it was a really good appointment uh, basically we don't need to worry about it there's nothing to be concerned about and they just want to see us in a year to see how it looks then so it's looking really good okay sorry the boys are like playing with all different lights with anthony's car so i'm trying to make sure that the alarm doesn't go off or anything but anyway it was a really great appointment don't have to go back for another year so that was good it just took forever <laughs> And now Avery's just been sleeping like the whole day because she was awake that whole appointment and 
she's just so tired from it, which I don't blame her. Other than that, we've just been hanging out here. Grayson has his last week of preschool, so today's Monday. He had snow cones today. He said he had an orange flavored one and that was really good. Tomorrow he's doing a picnic at his school, so they get to bring in a packed lunch. It has to be peanut free and then a beach towel and then they're gonna go and have a picnic outside, which is so cute and it's gonna be good weather too. This whole week's gonna be good weather. And then he graduates on Thursday, so he's wrapping up with preschool. We're just hanging out outside, although I guess technically we're not outside. We're in the garage right now. I keep saying it's gonna rain off and on. So if it does rain, we'll come inside. We need to make some muffins for breakfast. Maybe we'll go to the park if it doesn't rain, but it's looking pretty cloudy out. So we'll see what the weather decides to do. Other than that, we're just kind of hanging out and chilling. So overall a good appointment. And yeah, I'm so happy that Avery is okay and uh, nothing too much to be worried about.